Hey, what's up guys? I'm Scott from MusculoStrength.com and we're back with the only two exercises you need for muscle growth series and today we're going to cover shoulders. Now if you missed any of my previous videos in this series, just download my app Muscular Strength and search only two and all the articles complete with photos and videos will pop up. So shoulders. Well, believe it or not, guys, most lifters don't really understand the anatomy and functions of their shoulder muscles, and as a result, they don't understand how to properly target them for growth. They pick way too many exercises for such a small muscle group and end up getting nowhere fast. Also, keep in mind that with too many exercise variations, you'll end up frying your shoulders and reducing their contribution to lift the max weight possible on your next chest, back, or arm days. And the truth is, you only need two exercises to train your delts properly, and this isn't minimalistic training, guys. This is training simple. The first exercise is the barbell shoulder press, and you're going to do six sets of six to eight repetitions, and you're only wrestling about 90 to 120 seconds in between each set. And the reason why you're doing a barbell press rather than a dumbbell press is because you'll be able to handle a lot more weight without having to worry about balancing and stabilizing the weight. This will also allow us to take full advantage of mechanical tension and as you guys know you should always be pushing yourselves to lift more weight. But there are some key components you need to focus on to ensure you're doing the exercise properly. Number one, use a shoulder width grip. You don't need to go super wide with this guys, just grab the bar with a shoulder width grip or slightly wider and then you're good to go. This way you'll be able to use more of your triceps without straining your wrists or even worse, your shoulder joints. Number two, perform a full range of motion repetition. And guys, the range begins with the barbell touching your upper chest and it ends with your elbows locked out at the top. Your shoulders are elevated and then you push through your arms with your head. That's proper full range of motion. And number three, do not bounce the weight on your chest. Instead guys, briefly touch your chest and then explode up with maximum force and repeat on all your repetitions. And another great thing about the barbell is that when you start to fatigue, you can crank out a few more reps by utilizing a push press. You will essentially be skipping the concentric phase of the movement, but still focus on controlling the negative. So don't be afraid to add a bit more weight on your last set. Just utilize the push press if you get stuck on rep six, but want to finish with a strong eight repetitions. And now before we get to the next exercise, if you've been enjoying this series, let me know by smashing that like button. And if you want to be sure not to miss any more content from me, subscribe and click that notification bell. All right, so the second exercise is the dumbbell reverse fly. And now you're doing six to seven sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. And you're only taking about a 30 to 60 second rest in between each set. Now, although the basic barbell press will target all three deltoids, front, middle, and rear, you do want to add a bit more focus on the often neglected rear delts, and with a shorter rest period, we'll be tapping into the muscle building mechanism, metabolic stress. And here are some key components that you need to keep in mind while performing this movement. Number one, do not rush the repetitions. Unlike the barbell press, the reverse dumbbell fly is a precision movement. If you simply rush through the reps, you will never feel your rear delts activate and all will be for nothing. So pay attention to proper form. Number two, focus on a brief hold at the top of the repetition. And guys, use a similar tempo as before. Start with the dumbbells hanging beneath your chest, explosively lift the dumbbells to your sides, and then try to do a brief hold at the top and then slowly return to the starting position and repeat. And number three, do not engage the upper traps. Have someone film me while you do these guys. If you're raising your shoulders or shrugging while performing the reverse fly, then you're activating too much of your upper traps. Therefore, the focus is deducted from the rear delts and displaced onto the larger and more powerful trap muscles. A quick trick though that you can utilize to help you isolate your rear delts more is to rest your forehead on a bench with your upper body almost parallel to the floor. Once in place, stop performing reps, still utilizing the three tips I just mentioned. However, the big difference this time is that you don't have to worry so much about core control and you can focus a bit more on the movement. Be sure to give this workout a try and if you want to combine it with back, chest, or arms, that worked out great. And if your shoulders are a lagging body part, you can even hit them one more time a week after a hardcore leg day 
for a double weekly workout session. Guys, when you train smart, you will quickly see that you'll have more options to switch up your workouts. And if you're in need of a new workout program, be sure to check out my program selector tool during the end screens. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys. Hey guys, if you missed the last video in this series, you can check out the entire playlist by clicking here. But I definitely recommend downloading the Muscular Strength app for easier access to all my videos and programs. But if you're not sure which of my programs is best for you, just click on the program selected tool below. See ya.